Hey guys, this is Tom here from Spectrum RC. Today I wanted to show you another video on how to update the DX6R. Um, last one I did, which was uh, pretty much when this came out, was how to update it using the APK file that you had to download from SpectrumRC.com after registering it. This update is much easier, simply doing it through the Google Play Store. Um, this radio I have here is already up to date, but we'll kind of walk through it how you would do it. So let's say you bought this radio and it's got the original 1.051 or lower firmware on it, you would want to first delete the Raceware app. Uh, there's going to be either one on your home screen, or if you go to the menu, uh, you would scroll through or slide through until you see Raceware. We'll press and hold on it and go to uninstall. All right. When you uninstall this, it's going to delete all of your models. I've got a few models on here, but I love you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Alright, so now that it's deleted, we're going to go to the Play Store, and you're going to need Wi-Fi for this, so I'll connect to my Wi-Fi. Alright, so we're on the Play Store, and we're going to search for the DX6R Raceware app, and we're going to tap Install. So it's going to download it, and it's going to install it. Uh, one cool thing about downloading and installing from the Google Play app is that it'll always update for you so if there is an update and you have Wi-Fi on it'll notify, notify you when there's an update and also it'll update what we call the CP or the channel processor when you install it so every time you have a new update if there's an update for the channel processor it'll update that as well before you had to download a channel processor update and the raceware update so you had to update the app and the processor this one does it all in one shot, which is great. So it's gonna be a while before it downloads, so I'll wait for that. Okay, while it's downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what is new with this current version. Kind of goes over what I just told you. You have to de delete it. Uh, so uninstall, just like I said. And then we'll have what's new. Um, Momentary switch, love that option. And so before you, there was kind of a workaround to it, but now you, when you go to switch select uh, and set up a switch, you can tap momentary. And what that means is that when you hit a switch, it will go to 100% and then back when you let go. Uh, great for quenches and you know that's really about it. But there, are, I suppose, there are other things like lights and that that you could use that for. Um, there's been a couple of updates to voice and audio. I love that, like uh, voltage and miles per hour now being read correctly. Um, another cool one that I'm going to go over is tapping the serial number automatically copies it to your clipboard so you can go to the uh, website and register it. So if you want to register your radio, we'll send you updates, emails on like announcements, updates, special offers, things like that you'll get. Uh, it's great to have those. Um, so. Other than that, you can kind of read through what we've got. Bluetooth model transfer networks, awesome stuff. Um, yeah, so I think we're installed. Okay, we're installed, so we're going to open it for the first time. And it's going to kind of go through, check. It's going to see uh, if it needs an update, and it will update the CP. Yours likely will need an update. One thing that you'll have to remember, and this is with pretty much every Android device, is you got to have a good charge on your radio before it'll actually update. You might get a failure to update if your radio is below 20%. So keep that in mind. So, username. Let me go with Wombat. Use a nickname or whatever. And the first thing you're gonna do, it's gonna let you walk through setting up a model. Um, let's say SC. T E. Let's do that. Next, we'll do. So we'll use the SR two thousand electric first capable. Next, save. All right, easy as that. We can bind if we wanted to right here. I'm not going to. What I'm going to show you next is one of the newer features with this, if we go to app settings, go down to the serial number, we tap on the serial number, so 
serial number has been copied. Good deal. And then if you press and hold, if you're connected to the internet, it'll bring up the browser and go straight to spectrumrc.com. To the My Community, you can log in here and register it using the serial number that we just copied. Nice little feature that we threw in there, why not? So that's about it. All you gotta do to update the raceware is delete it. If it, you've got earlier than 1.05, or known as 1.0.5.1 or earlier, you'll wanna delete it and then download it from the Play Store and then install it. Make sure you've got a good charge on it for the first time you install it because it's gonna update the CP and then you're good to go. Thanks and have a great night.